Midfield is a staple of the union with Jose Martinez at the base. Alejandro Bedoya, the captain who was injured for MLS Cup Final, returning this evening. One-year-old goalkeeper Patrick Schulte into the starting 11 this evening. More on that story. It's a big one as we move along. MLS season on MLS season pass. Welcome all, and here we go. The union on the ball to get things started. Kai Wagner. Celerayan, second touch, fires that over the bar. Yeah, it's a position a lot of the times you would say, why is a player trying to... Zellerion looking for a clue lead and a save by Andre Blake. Season settled here by the crew. This is Nagby with space. Darlington Nagby, Cucho Hernandez. Cucho able to keep this ball low and it deflects in. It got by Blake and the Columbus crew have taken a one nothing lead. It was Alex Matan with the finish in front, and Columbus off and rolling on opening night. Is magnificent. It's not about you thinking he's going to have a shot, he's going to have a shot. He's aware of the run from Matan there, and it's so difficult for Blake because Blake's looking and he's thinking, right, the ball's coming through from Cucho Hernandez, so he has to hold his ground, but it's the slightest touch on the way through from Matan that puts the ball into the back of the net and gives Columbus the lead and they have been brilliant so far in this game the move jose martinez union into the attack caranza played back out wide now centrally opportunity to level and the deflected shot is saved by schulte cucho hernandez does well to get on that ball now zellerion looks for space zellerion fires and a whistler by andre blake missed the net Impressing Wilfred Nancy in something that he will demand. Here's Wagner again. Swings this ball in. Brought down Bedoya with a chance. Glesnes tries to lay this off. Another shot blocked away. Uh, it looks as and it's a penalty. You weren't going to give the penalty. So you just see here as a strike goes out and it's Flock. He hits it. I personally, I don't think that that's a penalty I think he faced two penalties last season he was scored on both times Gazdan looking to tie the game 1-1 see the confidence carried on from last season from Daniel Gazdan sends Schulte the wrong way you can just see as he's running off as well, his teammates go to congratulate him. They know the minute the ball leaves his feet, it's going into the back of the net. That gives Union a level up. It's such a special and important time as well in the game when Columbus had been in control. The crew missed the playoffs for the second straight season in 2022, a season defined by the club's propensity for blown leads. They were scored on 17 times in the final. Philip Quinton. Martinez won the individual battle against Zellerion. Here come the Union the other way. Bedoya able to play this across. What a finish! Union have the lead for the first time tonight. Julian Carranza with the go-ahead goal. Brilliant play. Initially, it's Martinez. There's been a, a constant battle between him and Zellerian. Martinez gets the better of him this time. This opens all the pitch up. Garstock just takes his time. Padoya makes a lovely run, plays the ball into Carranza, and it's a wonderful finish because his left foot is right against his body, so he knows that he can't generate the power, so it's more about getting a little bit of a lift on it, and he does that so well. But what Union did in that scenario was exactly what Columbus crew had done to Union all first half, which was win the ball back in the opposition half, and that is when the opposition are wide open, and Carranza takes full advantage of it. His service broken up by Farsi. Union still on it. They play this back, and a shot from distance. Was it deflected over the bar? Indeed, they'll award a corner. He wins the ball back initially. You see there, he's just then down on the floor because he gets the better of Matan. 
and then Bedoya, he shows his aggressive side. It then goes to Flock. All of a sudden, you're getting midfielders up in support. Your fullback, Wagner's getting up in support. And then it takes that deflection. In the waning stages of the first half. You just see the strike here from Wagner. You just, see, you just wonder whether, is it Marrera that they're looking at because he turns his back to it? I personally think it would be harsh. Penalty! And I do think it's a very harsh call. Daniel Gazdag. It's a three to one game. And the Union's 22 goal man from a season ago is off and running on opening night with a two goal game. He holds his nerve and he goes the same way as he did with the first penalty. And the result is the same. And Shulley's movement is the same. And he gets the better of the young goalkeeper and gives Union breathing space now in the game, but just a confident penalty. He knows before he even steps up exactly where he's going. Has put three past young Patrick Schulte on this opening night, two by a penalty. See if Farsi has time to get on this, able to track it down. Crew looking to get back in business. Cucho, top of the box, takes it out of midair, and the shot saved by an alert. Pretty brave now, it's near enough a 3-1-2-4 when they've got the ball, and that's going to leave a lot of spaces when Union win the ball back, but that's what Wilfred Nancy's trying to do, just to get his team back in this game. First touch by Torres, not a bad one. Ooze and Oz from the crowd, this ball played in, and a shot to make it a 4-1 game! The Union rolling in this second half. First of all, it's good play from Wagner, but when the ball eventually goes into Torres, you just see here, first of all, he uses his strength to get the better of Quinton, then he uses his skill to get the better of Nagby, and then the pass. The pass is incredible. Carranza doesn't even have to take a touch. It's a centre-forward's dream pass. And the first one's in the books for Jim Curtin's side. 4-1 to one is your final.